Welcome to Ivar Ruiz and today I'm trying Steam Brews Session IPA uh, and this is available in Lidl and I must admit I had dismissed it as just another craft beer and it may well be that but I've always, even though I've been dismissing it as I've walked past, I've rolled my eyes, rubbish! Um, I've been quite impressed by the artwork. Um, it is very steampunk uh, in uh, inspiration. Um, and when you go to the website, um, I was really well quite impressed with it. There's a little bit of animation there about some uh, apocalyptic story and oppression of beer and, um, you know, sort of they brewed... Uh, resistance brewed the beer. I have no idea what's going on there. Probably loses a lot in translation. They do a range of beers um, from a ruby to an imperial um, and this is their session IPA. I've only ever seen this one and I've only ever seen it in Lidl uh, and I thought I would give it a go. So this is a 4.9. We put it up for 185. Um, mm, so in my humble opinion IPAs fall into two categories grapefruit bombs or fruitcakes uh, well you know I'm thinking yeah. Shepherd Neem's yeah. uh, Indian Pale very much like he, drinking a Dundee cake and he's bloody brilliant and then you get into to, you know the grapefruity IPAs that are just everywhere at the moment no idea what we're going to get here uh, this is a 500ml uh, can um, and this one is brewed by the so it's not brewed for Lidl, uh, but it's uh, the Privat Brewery Eichbaum. Apologies. And it's brewed in Mannheim, so apologies to anybody from Germany who's watching for murdering your language. Okay, let's give this a go, see what we're getting. I know lots of other beer reviews have done this one, um, and I haven't looked at any of their videos um, but when I looked up how to pronounce Privat Brewery Eichbaum, again, murdering the language, um, lots of uh, beer reviewers' videos popped up. Okay, so we have a cloudy. Cloudy, yeah. So even before I sniffed, I'm saying grapefruit. Cloudy as you like. Yeah. Fluffy white head, staying around, gluing itself to the glass. Let's get the colour board in. Hazy as you like, yeah. Mur murky as you like. Some water. Some water, yeah. Let's give this a sniff. Citrus, not a grapefruit bomb, but there's a citrus there. Ooh, now. On the nose, it reminds me of uh, Shed Head. Okay, now I really am curious. Cheers, everybody. So quite a thin mouthfeel. Yes, it's 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 quite resinous. There's that piney element to it. It's not a big flavour. It's not smacking around the chops. Certainly no grapefruit. Uh, and certainly not the Dundee cake I was hoping. So this has shades of like an American pale. So the flavour, the reason I'm, I'm pausing, the flavour um, is lovely in the mouth, but fades really quickly. There's a little sort of a biscuit finish, no jarring qualities there, so it's quite well balanced. Now, the question, are you going to session on this one? And I'm going to say no. So this isn't bad. No hint that it's a 4.9. Goes down quite well. It's not enough flavour there uh, that I'm going to order one of them. More than one. I've obviously got, You've got one. one. So yeah. You're not going to order another one. You're not going to buy what, another one. What, what she said. Yeah, it's not... It's, it's there and gone. When it's in the mouth, it's great. I 
Okay, yeah. Not bad. Haven't been ripped off. I mean, it's not cheap, cheap. Because I am that tight. I mean, there's people out there watching now going, yeah, you know, 185 for a beer is pretty cheap, David. Yeah, but I am, I am that tight. Um, that's not bad. Not a bad flavour. But it's a there and gone beer. It's just not developed enough. It's not deep enough. I can almost sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, have you tried it? Did you like it? Did you know like it? If you're interested, uh, it should be available in Lidl. Certainly, um, that's the only place that I've seen it. Uh, and I'd be really interested to know what you think. Mm. Cheers.